Hey everybody, welcome to Next Commentary playing Azir mid lane. This is in like Diamond 2, Diamond 3 ELO uh, on a different one of my accounts. So it's still high ELO, I guess. De depends on what you consider high ELO. Um, I think D2 to D3 isn't high ELO. High ELO is literally high Grandmaster and Challenger, but yeah, we're playing versus Zillion. Jeez. Okay, good. I, I got a mana plus stack. That's that's my main goal, so we're all good. We got it. We did give this guy money, which is kind of dumb, but oh well. Got 45 gold. Versus Zillion, I think we're just going to want to shove him under tower, and that's it. To be honest. Um, Because Zillion struggles, I, I know this because... I play Zillion. Normally when you play a certain champion, if you if you understand to play how to play a certain champion at a certain level, you can understand, oh, when I play this champion, I hate it when the enemy does this. Um, and I hate it when I'm just shoved under tower. Uh, so I'm going to try to full shove, but at the same time, uh, I'm going to try to make it so he doesn't freeze as well. Because I don't want him to shove, or... Uh, be able to freeze when I shove, and then I get ganked by Udir. Because Udir, honestly, I mean, he probably can just run at me and make me burn my mana, which is so goddamn annoying. Um. Okay, so we got one CS. You see how it worked? So we already got a lead. And we're just going to keep on doing this over and over again. Zillion can't really wave clear until later into the game. We can get some free auto attacks in occasionally when he's within that uh, soldier range, too. Okay, so this wave is not going to shove in. I already know this. So I'm not going to hard shove this. I'm going to look for harassment here. And then we can still... I mean, we have a little bit of creeps here. So we can work with it. And we'll shove in this next one afterwards. This one. Uh, Udir probably is going to gank from this type of angle. I don't think he would loop all the way around. If he does loop all the way around, I could probably just run away. And then I'm going to just hover on the side that I put down the ward on. You really should be looking at, like, where they start and warding the opposite side. I have a bad habit of not doing that that often. So if you're someone that doesn't do that, uh, make sure that you just play towards the side that you have the ward on. Because if if I get ganked, I can see him come. And if I play towards bot side, I have no vision control down there. So it'd be really bad. As soon as I see where he is, like, let's say that, like, he ganks top, though, as an example. As soon as he ganks top, then I would play towards bot side because I know where he is for sure. But right now, I, I don't know. We have a minor CS lead, and it's working pretty okay. So he's trying to uh, just tank those creeps there, so I'm just gonna... Hmm. Well, we tried. Let's get out. Zillion just flashed there, by the way, so this guy has no flash. I think our Lilia also got the, the uh, Scuttle Crab. Just get some poke off on that guy. We both have TP. Uh, my full mana cost of me going on to him with the shuffle is going to be enough. So I'll just get him here. Um, forgot about how much it costs. Make sure you're paying attention to the mana cost. If I went immediately onto that guy as soon as he stepped back up with shuffle, in case anybody was like, why the fuck is he not killing him right there? He has no flash. I actually was five mana off, so it would have actually failed. I would have uh, not been able to, but I got the perfect amount of mana. I went for the auto attack, just get a little bit of bonus damage right before doing the shuffle in, because uh, that's kind of important. I'm going to go for the Lost Chapter into uh, Stinger build. I think that sounds best. This guy can still shove somewhat quickly with bombs, so I'm just going to TP back here. He has no TP as well. That's fine. We know that he has no uh, flash. The main reason why we won that fight is because, I mean, the guy was pretty oom. Let's get some auto attacks on that guy there. He kind of just was like trying to get the CS and was tanking my soldier. We can also just freeze it here now as well and make it so he misses even more creeps if he takes a back here because he could be wanting to take a back because he just got chunked. We'll see. Oh, please don't get it by the tower like that. Okay, nice. He's still here. 
Whenever you're looking for trades, make sure you're doing the W auto attack and a Q auto attack because doing a W Q auto attack is just so bad. It deals no damage, man. And it's still frozen here, so this is still good. This is still good. This is a perfect spot to be in. You see how uncomfortable he is with laning? And then we're inside of a situation where we're the safest we ever can be, right? We can't get ganked by Udir. If Udir comes, we can like probably uh, have our Lilia come, and I, I would spam ping her to come over so I can like uh, use my ulti to throw them in or something. And in the meantime, Zillion is missing a ton of uh, EXP and CS. So he's missing EXP and gold here because of minions dying, because he's not even stepping up. We see where uh, Udir is here. So because this is starting to slow push back towards him, now I will shove in and then we can go into the enemy jungle with our Lilia and look for a gank or something. Oh, I just used my Q, so we actually can't do this. Damn, that guy is fast as fuck, uh, but he has uh, no mana. So, uh, she should be able to just take his camps here, to be honest. Well played, well played. Uh, we should probably just get him to burn it, because uh, what's going to happen here is that when he revives... Okay. My one of my soldiers that was right next to him that would have killed him expired. Really unlucky, but it's okay. At least we survived. Uh, she missed the stun. Oh wow, this guy's staying. This guy's insane, dude. Do I just go for it? He's gonna miss a cannon. Okay, so we're just gonna get these. And then... Hopefully I'll be okay here. That should freeze because the cannon tanks so much. So I think we have it in a situation where this will now freeze for me. And I'm gonna reset at the same time as him. Because he reset, I can't just stay in the lane and try to shove in the next wave. I okay, maybe I could've. Maybe that actually would've been smart. Because actually, I do shove very quickly. If you're playing a champion that can't shove, you should do what I just did, which is the reset. I might have just made a mistake. Whoa, 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 that guy just messed up so bad. Oh my god, the Lily almost messed that up. But it's okay. We'll play, dude. I know I looked for a Q there. It's because I'm full mana. You can occasionally go for those those WQ trades. Just don't do it often. That's what I'm my main thing is. If you do it all the time, you're gonna go oom and not really deal too much damage. Your main damage is from your auto attacks, not your Q. It has to be combined. That's why going for the W auto attack, Q auto attack is the best way of doing it. Like that. I'm liking the mana, that's for sure, from this Lost Chapter build. You just go Lost Chapter into Nashers and Illudens, I think. Or you just sit on Lost Chapter the entire time. I don't know the cost effectiveness of just having Lost Chapter, I never looked into it. I know that the spreadsheets for that kind of stuff. To see if uh, the Lost Chapter effectiveness is actually something that you can just sit on and you don't need to finish it. Did he back? How's he full HP? Let's get some auto attacks on him there. We can look for a topside ward because we know where Udir is. We can also kill this in the meantime. Killing Zillion at this time is going to be a little bit difficult now. Thanks for the poke. Uh, he's topside on this right now or something, so I'm playing towards the bot side really hard because of that. Because there's no way that I can get ganked if I play towards the bot side. Unless I like severely, severely mess up. Like I get double bombed and then like slow down and Udyr chases me down or something.
This guy is so low. You can get a plate here. I should have expected that because he kind of just ran in, so that's my fault, really. He's completely out of mana, though, now. <sighs> They're not going to get the tower. Uh, Zillion TP is going to be back up because remember that I use my TP around the same timer as him. So. We will just have to reset here, I think. He knows that I'm resetting because your soldiers give vision of myself. That's fine, though. Let's buy another pink board. I can look for this guy, he has an ulti. I'm not in range to ult. I probably would have barely missed, I think. I've had bad experiences where like if you if you don't really hit the target with a nice E, you're probably gonna miss. Because if the person's running away very quickly, the ulti like just doesn't work. Not sure if me just pushing Zillion under tower and going for the uh, plates is more worth than me roaming bot this game. Maybe I should have roamed bot a lot more. I'm gonna use my E here just to shield this damage. Dealing quite a bit now. Because I have no magic assist. It's not too weak. Nice bot lane fight. Top lane still struggling, that's okay. I'm gonna use my shield here again, why not? We already got this guy low enough that we can kill. Or like burn his uh, ulti again. Right there, I went for a E and then um, Q. So afterwards, it's not a shuffle. It's just a gain range to look to almost kill him. I'm trying to get him low enough to kill. This that really is going to be a problem this game. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get ganked. I'm, I'm playing like super aggressive right now and this guy is like kind of allowing it. Oh shit. Did not mean to get hit by that double bomb. That was actually super close. My fault on that one. I wonder if he stayed. Did stay. Okay, I'm going to just go get my Nash's tooth. We did pretty good farm-wise, so... Already have Nash's Tooth and my last chapter, and it's only been 14 minutes in the game with only one kill. We, we can easily kill really as long as we're not getting a one-shot. I, I definitely deal enough damage. Ooh, Lilia is not seeing the, the play, unfortunately. Oh, this is going to be a double ulti. Q. Oh, yikes, that was not played correctly. It's okay. Oh, well played, well played on that kill. Yasuo is 0 4. It's fine, he's almost 50% of the way to his power spike. Wow, this guy won Magi's. What?
What? How'd that miss? Whatever. I messed up. My mistake. Mistakes happen. Not my ward, dude. Clear some wards again. Mountain Dragon is available. I have no ulti here. Damn, we're just going for it. And it was stolen. But, I can't get anything. Don't have ult. I should've just went for the Zillion, to be honest. Probably could've killed. But I was so tunnel vision on getting the shutdown from Irelia, because if I do get that, then it's absolutely massive for our team. So my fault on that. Did this guy base? We'll just back off here. We're still fine. Losing the dragon always a little bit sad, but everything else is fine still. Let's go for just we don't they don't have too bad of crowd control, I think. Should be okay just going this. I'm gonna just give up this wave and I'll save my TP for a more important fight since fights are probably gonna be Starting soon, finally, like more team oriented fights, so I'll want to be a part of them if I ever have to go to split push. Wow, this guy's literally freezing. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think we all saw them bot side there. Uh, so I'm not sure how he died, but it's all right. It's definitely not FFable. I'm not sure why we're trying to FF here. Our Lily is pretty strong. I'm in Azir at the end of the day, so. The Lulu Vein is definitely going to be annoying, though. I will admit it. <laughs> Lulu, Vein, Zillion. And Zillion is going to ulti the Irelia or the Vein, and it's going to be so hard to kill them. Yada yada yada. His poke. Good poke. She just messed up her ulti, so now she has an ulti. Come on, man. I'm gonna pink ward. Wow, that pink ward sucked dick. Shit. <sighs> Vein has two items. I really doesn't have two items yet. Doesn't matter though. I mean, she's still super fed. I guess I'll go bot and go take the tower. I'll have TP for the next fight, right? So. If it's not immediately lost, that is. You know, if, if one of my teammates gets caught out, then it's probably just immediately lost. Really is bought. Dude here is not. Yeah, she went on me with literally no dash, right? She didn't use ulti, she did Mr. E, so I knew I just 
I win. Because there's no way for her to get on top of me after she queues. She she didn't do it, so she didn't get a reset. So that was super free there. She was super impatient on the kill. That is a bad fight. This is this is a good fight? Oh my god, no, why did you have to die like that? Oh my gosh, he flash killed me. But that's fine, dude. I'm I'm totally fine with all these fights so far. They used a lot of stuff there. And we got some nice kills on a lot of important targets, so we're good. The reason why... Okay, so there's... I'm looking at the map. I guess I didn't communicate absolutely everything that happened uh, with the uh, Irelia kill. What did happen was that Irelia shows up bot. I saw Udyr hitting from about here. There was a ward around here up towards mid side. And then we knew that uh, there were multiple mid, and I think one person was top or something. So basically, Irelia was 100% alone bot. We knew it, and I saw Lilia doing the scuttle crab. So I actually wanted her to go on me there, which is why I stepped up this way, and then like kind of pretending that I'm getting caught out. I'm like, oh shit, she's gonna kill me, right? And then she hard committed Mr. Stun, but still felt like she could beat me, because she probably can 1v1 um, at that moment. And then, because the bait was, I guess, good enough, uh, when Lily comes around the corner, we just win. And she messed up by uh, not having a royalty there, so... Hope you don't mind, Ezreal, I'm gonna... Oh. I was gonna say I was gonna take your cannon, but I guess you can have it. It's fine. Okay, I guess I'll shove out top then, now. I think Zillion is... Yeah, Zillion's bot. I wonder if Udyr beats me in a 1v1. He has Black Cleaver. I mean, I'm really squishy. I deal a ton of damage, though. That's for sure. I'll go Zanya's next. He is completely out of mana, actually. Like, actually completely out. Uh, we're gonna go for top tower here. We saw that two were mid, so there's literally nobody that could be top right now. Because uh, they sent two bot to kill our super... Uh, weak Yasuo, which is, like, not even bad for us. Why Why would they send two just to kill a Yasuo? So we're gonna get a tower off of that. And then I'll go defend bot, because they're gonna go for the bot tower here, so I'll go defend it. As long as they can't Baron here, we're in a good situation. I do have no TP here, but I'm confident that these guys are not gonna do some crazy macro play where I go bot, I really TP's to Baron, and then they get it. Like, it's fine. Let's make sure she doesn't get any damage on this tower. This tower is more important. Don't want to lose an in-hit bot side. Really sucks because that makes Baron so easy because it's on the opposite side of the map. She is quite out of mana. Basically, completely out of mana, really. Do I win them? Not sure. Just because of how fed she is. She scares the shit out of me. Okay. I don't want to be bought. Not unless I have TP. I'm fine for looking for a pick. That guy's uh, QSS now. That's an important thing to know. Okay, got it. I really is bought. She already used her TP. I don't know. We don't have our Sona, man. If, if we're gonna try to bait a, like, a fight or something, we need to do it right away. Otherwise, it's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna start heading bot, man. Oh, please get off the tower, man.
Uh, you do not know how to land ultis, huh? Okay. Barely. Barely 1v1'd. I used Anya's there because she was going to cue me to get out of tower range because she actually did hit me with an E there, so... She did uh, have a second dash out of the tower and I wanted to keep her under tower for as long as possible. Okay. I'm just gonna finish my Zhonya's now. So now I have my Zhonya's up. No, dude. Don't die to that. Okay, got that guy's ult. I uh, should be able to just end the game. I'm not even joking. There's no way that this I really can kill all three of us, right? Like, there's actually no way. Okay, whatever. She'll, she'll get the dragon. We'll just take in Hib. I think there is maybe a possibility of ending the game, but we can also just go for Baron as well. We can play it safer. Pop this. We can just back. Right there. I mean, I flashed away because I was afraid I was going to get zillion bombed. I had a Zhonya's because I was worried I was going to get crowd controlled to death. Um, I, We got the zillion ulti. I don't know. Pretty good fight. I'm going to have to go for void. Oh my gosh, my tower. Pff, my tower hit her, which made it so I was in combat, so I can't undo this. That sucks, actually, because I was going to go for void set because she's building what's end next. Oh man, that is so unfortunate. Whatever. Okay, nice. Go here now. They were in quite a predicament there. Uh, I don't care if you hit me. Whatever. What happened there was... Uh, Basically, I know, okay, like there was a big chunk on Lulu, it wasn't just me, I, I did some good damage. I went in because I knew that with my whole entire team behind me, we have really good ultis if they try to turn on me, like everybody tried to turn there. We have Sona ulti, I have my ulti, I have my Zhonya still all available. And then what would happen would be we would probably win the fight. So they were running away because of that. I knew that Lulu was super low, so I wanted to go for her, which means Vayne turned around to try to fight me. I know I win 1v1 versus her unless she already has her Gwensu stacked up. Um, just because I deal crazy amounts of damage right now. And then Vayne ran away knowing that she would lose, and Udyr turned because he was like, oh shit, my Vayne's dying, so let's try to turn and fight here, which was actually not the correct choice. So then he turns around, and now my entire team's here stacked on him, and Vayne and Lulu just ran away because Lulu's literally one shot, so... I got a really, really good ulti there. I'm gonna die, though. Probably. Or maybe not. Okay, no. no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I got a shield. Uh, the Vayne tried to fight me. She already used Condemn on uh, the Lilia there, so I knew that I couldn't get stunned by the Lilia. Uh, I used my ulti, and she was barely out of range to get me, the Irelia that is. So I knew that I was safe versus her as well. So that's how you play Azir. He's a pretty high mechanical champion, I suppose. Um, If you can't do stuff like what I'm doing here, like going super fucking hard, then going super hard and knowing all of your limits, it, it could be pretty difficult. As you can see, during the laning phase versus certain champions, it could be very difficult to do stuff. Um, I wonder if I even did most damage. Yeah, I did. So you can see I did a ton of damage this game. 
Uh, it does take sometimes a while for Azir to come online depending on what matchup you versus. As you can see, I was able to get a lot of pressure early on versus this guy because of just how uh, this matchup works because Zillion sucks during the early game. But as soon as Zillion gets an item, it's so easy for him to just wave floor over and over again. And it's very difficult for me to get the kill. I probably could have done more if I like asked for more jungle help where we could just kill him when he's like 1 HP under tower. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video and if you learned anything about playing Azir, be sure to drop a like on the video. I'll see you guys next time. Holy shit, 4 honors too. Nice.